Speaking during the latest earnings call at the Gigafactory Texas, the outspoken Tesla CEO Elon Musk brought forward the challenges his company had been facing in bringing the Cybertruck into the mass production. The CEO noted that the company right now had been having the biggest hurdle in providing enough 4680 cells for the Cybertruck. It's because of these challenges that Mr. Musk was quoted saying that each Cybertruck would cost $1 million if the trucks were built today. We can make a small number of vehicles, but the effective cost if you make a small number of vehicles is insane. They would literally cost a million dollars a piece or more, he added while referring to the Cybertruck. After managing to deliver sedans that beat most supercars in terms of both performance and range, the electric vehicle maker is now focused on all electric heavy vehicles, particularly the Cybertruck, the Tesla Semi, and next-generation Tesla Roadster. While Tesla seems to have hit a roadblock, pushing back the Cybertruck production to sometime in 2022, Tesla's CEO has insisted the trucks would start hitting roads in late 2021 if everything goes well. Buyers are clearly interested in this all-electric heavy-duty pickup truck, with its reservations surpassing the 1.2 million unit threshold. There is also a motivation on the automaker side to try to adhere to the announced schedule and get it to the market. Despite the bottlenecks, the company still focused at beginning the deliveries of the Cybertruck by the end of this year. The Tesla Cybertruck, while not yet released by the automaker, continues to accumulate a significant number of pre-orders just a few months ahead of initial production. Though the techno king himself, Elon Musk, has admitted the Tesla Cybertruck could flop, reservation figures seem to point in a different direction. Due to the Cybertruck's unusual trapezoid-like design that caters to the unorthodox tastes of some of EV enthusiasts, the truck is no doubt going to be one of Tesla's bestsellers in 2022 when the company projects to begin its volume production. The pickup's stainless steel alloy body, coupled with all-electric powertrain, wowed Tesla fans and EV enthusiasts after the vehicle was unveiled back in November of 2019. It's no surprise that the truck's pre-order list is becoming so long that it may take Tesla several years to deliver to the more recent reservation holders. According to the patents revealed earlier this year, the Tesla Cybertruck would feature an armor glass, eye-tracking technology to control the car's mirrors, a camper, a solar charging tonneau cover, a self-sensing air conditioning system, handless doors, among many other specs. And in exchange with Tesla fans on Twitter last month, Tesla CEO confirmed that the production of the Tesla Cybertruck would have exactly the same design as the prototype displayed when the first vehicle debuted in late 2019. Interestingly enough, Mr. Musk also revealed that the upcoming Cybertruck would come with a four-wheel steering system, a feature that will enable the vehicle to perform tight turns and maneuver with high agility. This would arguably make this vehicle more directly competitive with the GMC Hummer EV, which comes with a crab mode feature. As for the range, the CEO noted that the Cybertruck would boast the range of 610 miles. This is quite impressive. In order to achieve this driving range, the automaker has been innovating with a structural 4680 battery cell pack, which is a lightweight and cost-effective option, according to Mr. Musk. Given that it's something that Tesla has not done before, the development of 4680 cells requires a lot of innovations on the automaker's part. Highlighting the tremendous progress that the automaker has made so far, CEO Elon Musk noted that his car company was not making minor improvements, but half a dozen major improvements and dozens of small improvements to make it all possible. Unfortunately, he did not give a timeline as to when the battery bottlenecks would be resolved. Mr. Musk also acknowledged that chip shortages at a global level were hampering the company's progress. Tesla has failed to find some alternatives and rewrite firmware to fast-track production. Computer chips are still the slowest part of the company's supply chain and are expected to stay as such for some years. Emphasizing how hard the production was, the CEO said that there are thousand unique parts and processes that have to work, and the greater growth of production goes as fast as the least lucky and dumbest of those 10,000 things, he noted. The American electric automaker surely won't give up on the Cybertruck altogether, as the CEO himself noted that it would be the company's best product ever. Yet the Model Y, which is ramping up at Tesla's Giga Texas plant, is still more important than either the pickup or the semi.
In other news touching on the Cybertruck, it appears that Tesla has struck a deal with Steel Dynamics to supply the steel for the Cybertruck electric pickup truck. This is great news for those who are still doubting the eventual reality of the Cybertruck. In addition to the rapid development of Gigafactory Texas, Tesla's steel supplier, Steel Dynamics, is reportedly coming to form in its Sinton, Texas mill. Steel Dynamics is not that far away from Tesla's Gigafactory Texas. Steel Dynamics Sinton plant that is ramping up is estimated to cost over $1.5 billion, with Steel Dynamics being only 167 miles away from Gigafactory Texas. It should reduce the transportation costs of steel between the two facilities and help the automaker ramp the Cybertruck production. Even though the development of Steel Dynamics Sinton plant is taking place at a low pace compared to the evolution of Gigafactory Texas, the site has transformed significantly over the past few months. When Judge David Krebs, San Patricio County, spoke to the local press about the project last year, the area for the steel plant had little to no work done. But now, a more recent aerial video of Steel Dynamics Sinton site reveals that the complex is quite large, with several buildings erected and equipment fitted. What is more interesting is that Tesla has previously stated that the steel, which would be utilized for the Cybertruck's structural skin, would have come with certain unique touches. Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection, starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton. Every component is designed for superior strength and endurance, from ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armor glass, Musk said last year. Judge Krebs' previous remarks about Steel Dynamics Texas plant also hinted at this. This implies that Tesla is being cautious about the vehicle's secrets, particularly about the details that pertain to the vehicle's exoskeleton body. According to Judge, some companies which work with SDI will be taking SDI's material and refining it a little bit better. We're hearing that one of the companies that we're pretty close to, probably getting close, is a company that's going to be taking SDI still, redoing it, and that still will actually be going into the Tesla course when they're moving in from California to manufacture here, Judge Krebs said. As previously mentioned, the Tesla Cybertruck is scheduled to enter its beta phase in late 2021, with volume production kicking off in 2022. This effectively gives Tesla's supplier for still enough time to develop and build out its Stinton, Texas facility. And if everything goes as planned, the American EV maker may very well find itself with a reliable steel supplier that could keep pace with the company and the potential demand for its uniquely designed all-electric pickup truck. By the time the Tesla Cybertruck arrives for purchase, it will face off with other electric pickups from Ford, Bollinger, General Motors, Rivian, and more. Ford has already released its F-150 electric pickup truck, for instance. As for the pricing, the base, single-motor rear-wheel drive trim starts at around $39,900, whereas the dual-motor all-wheel drive version of the Cybertruck goes at $49,900 before incentives. The range-topping tri-motor all-wheel drive Cybertruck starts at $69,900. For comparison, the range-topping Tesla Cybertruck tri-motor all-wheel drive trim is only $900 more expensive than the Rivian R1T. The Ford F-150 Lightning, Ram 1500, Nissan Titan, Bollinger B2, Nissan Titan XD, and Chevrolet Silverado start at around $49,900, $32,595, $36,950, $125,000, $45,430, and $28,300, respectively. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.